Q1 is one of the best quarters of the year, but Q2 is really where you start to feel that groove. But we're still seeing a tale of two cities where you have the outskirts are overperforming and are more of a seller's market, and the downtown markets are underperforming and are more of a buyer's market. But just don't take my word for it. Let's look at the stats. Know that these stats are for the South Loop all the way up to North Center, and then from like Avondale, Logan Square, down to the West Loop. We get this information from InfoSparks, which gets their information directly from the MLS. Let's look at sales price. On average, it's up 2%, with the Loop performing the worst, with their prices down 17.7%. That's a huge drop. And the North Center area, which includes Roscoe Village, is up 8.9%. Let's look at market time. On average, market time in the city was 26 days, with the near north side winning the title that nobody wants to win, having an average of 52 days in the market, and Logan Square having only nine days in the market. Let's look at months of inventory, which is my personal favorite stat. On average, there was 2.8 months of inventory in the city, with the near north side having the most amount of inventory at six months, which is actually up from last quarter, and Logan Square having the least amount of inventory at 1.3 months. Always be closings. Let's see closings. Closings is what matters, and on average, closings were down 37% in the city. That is a huge amount. Every single area was down with Logan Square, which has been forming well, being down the most at 43.7%. And the near north side, which is not performing great, but it has the lowest amount of closings, being down at 24.6%. As we enter into the third quarter, are we gonna see more of a shift or are we gonna see more of a steady summer? Who knows, only time will tell, so make sure you tune into next quarter to find out what really happens.